Well, this is Michael coming from Scottsdale, Arizona. And of course, uh, today's one of those days that's a, it's a Chamber of Commerce day. It's 78 degrees. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. And the skies are as blue as could possibly be. This is why everybody wants to come to Arizona. Hey, listen, but that's not why we're talking about. This is get out of debt. Uh, conversations now. So let's just go over some things. I was, I was getting my coffee this morning and I'm standing in line with a, with a gentleman that's my age and we're talking about uh, life when we were younger. And of course, we didn't have these, uh, we didn't have uh, these corner coffee shops and these drive through coffee shops that are just absolutely uh, full of people. So, uh, and, and I'm thinking to myself, gosh, just think how much money is being spent getting a cup of coffee in the morning. So, uh, you know, I've been kind of paying attention to this and you would not be, uh, you would be amazed at how many people buy a latte on the way to work every single day. You know, a latte is five bucks by the time you pay a tip, by the time you pay tax, it's it, you're paying $5 times five times a, a week. It's $25 every week that they're spending on a latte. Probably husband and wife. So you're talking about $50 minimum. Some people are getting two and three a day. But let's just figure you're just getting one a day. You and your wife get a, get a coffee for five bucks a piece. So that's $10 a day times five uh, days a week. That's $50 a week times 50 weeks a year that you're going to, that you're going to work. You're spending $2,500 um, a year in coffee drinks. How about we take a one-year hiatus and say, uh, I'm not going to do that. Let's say if I want coffee, I can take uh, 50 cents and buy, get a whole pot of coffee at, at work, and I can take a thermos to work. I can drive and make my own coffee. Um, and and, and let's, let's think of this. How about we take a one-year hiatus, lose a little weight, and let's not, uh, let's not drink sodas for one year. Now, just think, if you go to lunch and you don't have a soda every day, Five days a week. Now, you know, you know, if we all work in an office, we go to some fast food place, we order out. It's generally about two dollars for a soda, two bucks for a soda. I mean, this is this is a high profit margin for most of the restaurants. So they get two bucks for a soda. Two dollars times five days a week. It's ten dollars a, a week times two, because your wife's probably doing the same thing, your husband's doing the same thing, your spouse is doing the same thing. So that's that's uh, two times five. That's ten times two. That's twenty dollars a week times twenty weeks. Another thousand dollars. So between coffee and sodas, you're spending thirty five hundred dollars a year just on beverages. Let's take this one step further. How about when you take the family out to, to dinner, uh, you go out and get a pizza, or you go out and have a, a couple of hamburgers uh, as, a, as a splurge. How about you have the hamburgers, but you don't get the sodas again. And you know, the, the restaurants, I mean, this is a high profit order. They give away, oftentimes they give away the food so they can make their money on the beverage. So uh, let, let's stay away from the beverages. So figure if you go spend another $20 sometimes during the week, uh, for taking the family out to dinner, just one time, a family of four, you know, that's that's almost $10 a, a, a week. So let's figure 10 times 50 weeks, another $500. We're talking $4,000, you can say, just by not having beverages, just for one year. Let's just do it for one year. Let's think of calories as well. I mean, you'll, you'll, lose, a lot of, you'll lose a lot of weight taking those calories out, but let's think just one year of, of no sodas. Now, let's take it even, one, we're, we're talking $4,000. So let's take it just one step even further than that. So let's say uh, we, we go to lunch every, uh, when we have to eat, you know, so five times a, 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 a week we're, uh, we're going out to lunch or we're having lunch brought in. How about two of those days, just two, instead of spending nine or $10 uh, at, uh, at, uh, at a restaurant, how about we brown bag? That's what, that's what we used to do as kids when I was growing up. That's what my dad used to do. Everybody's dad used to do it. Their mom and dad, when they would go to work, they used to bring their own lunch. I mean, this would just, just happen. So instead of spending $9 for a sandwich, how about you just load it up with uh, at, at home and it costs you $2. If, if that, you for 2 bucks at home, you can make yourself one heck of a great, uh, great lunch. So let's say you save just twice a week. You'd save uh, $7.50 a day. Twice a week, fifteen dollars. You're going to save fifteen dollars a week times fifty weeks. That's seven hundred and fifty dollars, probably by two. It's another fifteen hundred dollars that you can save. 
So we're talking just by taking coffee and beverages and, and taking lunch just twice a week, you're going to save $5,500 a month. A, a year. I'm sorry, not a month. That would be really nice to cost a month, but it's, it'd be a year. Fifty-five hundred dollars a year is going to pay off a lot of credit cards. It's going to take care of getting you some reserves. Maybe you can even put that into an IRA or into an investment uh, fund for yourself. But let's start thinking of taking just that. We're not. We're not asking you to. I'm not asking you to sacrifice. I'm just talking to you about taking a little bit out of your out of your budget. And if you want to really start doing some things, just think if you start washing your own car. You know, that's eight or nine dollars a, a week. You know, how, how about cutting your own grass? You know, out, out uh, where I live, everybody has a landscaper. It's fifty to a hundred dollars, maybe one hundred and fifty dollars a month. They have that done. You could easily take a thousand dollars. How about cutting down your cable? You know, doggone cable cost me over two hundred dollars. I haven't. I don't have any anything special. I'm going to cut them out. You know, I'm going to start thinking. I'm not going to do this. This is this is crazy. So I think you can save a minimum of five to ten thousand dollars a year just looking around the house. Just cutting, just cutting out all the little things that uh, that you don't need. Here's here's another really weird thing. How about those little vampire lights that are in, that are in your house? I mean, this I'm, I'm trying to think of things that you can save yourself thirty or forty dollars a month times twelve months, and that's just pure savings. It's it's money for you. It's your money. You know, when you, when you put little chargers charges in that little red light that's on that shows that it's, it's still going, how about you just turn it off if it's not being charged? Take it out of the wall. There's no reason that you need to have these chargers on. You know, take a look at your at your at your computers. They're all they're all they're all still on. Just unplug them. You know, just just unplug all these little. Go around your house and see how many vampire. They're called vampire lights, and, and see so you'd save thirty fifty bucks a month. You know, here here in the West, I mean, our our water can be reasonably expensive. You know, so how about if you cut down on some water costs? So what I'm telling you, if you just put, make a game of this, I'm sure that you can save between five and ten thousand dollars a year on an average household. And savings, and you can pay off your debt. Get out of debt. Yeah, you know, every time every time you pay off a credit card that's at thirteen or fifteen percent, because most credit cards are thirteen or fifteen percent. Some are twenty one percent, twenty two percent. You know, they, they make a big deal out of the you know interest rates are only one or two percent. But once you start getting into your HELOCs and start getting into your your credit cards, it, you know, they they get pretty expensive. So if you have a thirteen percent credit card, every time you pay a dollar off, one dollar off your credit card, you've made thirteen percent. So every time, every time that you pay off your credit card, you're making that's that's an income your savings. So l- let me tell you that you need to start thinking of this because we have. I- I'm going to tell you that we have some tough times coming. I don't know if they're tomorrow, next week, next year, um, but they're coming. We we know that they're coming. They're going to breed phenomenal opportunity for those that are prepared. But in order to be prepared, you have to have some money. You have to have some credit line that's, that's available to you. You have to have the ability to buy. So the first thing you need to do to start right now, right now, is to get out of debt. So do these things. You know, these are really, really simple things. And you can save five or six, seven thousand dollars a year, every year. So and if you just look around your house, I'm sure you can make it up to ten thousand dollars. And you can save five to ten thousand dollars a year. Just put that uh, over your lifetime. You know, thirty years. That's one hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars that you can save over over your lifetime. Just doing these simple things, people don't realize this. So anyway, my very very best to you. Uh, I, I'm here in Scottsdale. I have a staff in Scottsdale. We'll help you any way we possibly can. It's, it's our mission is to try and get people out of debt and get them financially free to to make their lives so much better. So this is Michael. My very very best to you, and uh, good day. 